It's an absolutely beautiful day outside. And I decided to put the other one together. Now I have the shaft as the snap ring. Oh, no, I'm sorry, the shaft, the seal, the snap ring in front of it. The first bearing, which is a roller bearing, I mean a race bearing, not a roller bearing, it's a uh, it's a ball bearing, that's what it is. And then the big spacer, and then there's a smaller spacer, and then the other bearing, and then the seal, and then the cap, and then the 14 millimeters, and then the 36 millimeter nut. And everything spins nice and free. Really quiet. I didn't get any grease on the brakes, thank God. Because I just took that glove off. I thought I would. Just my luck, you know. Um, but I have two nice uh, spindles. They do have the mud deflectors on them. They're not rotted off like the last three sets. Um, everything's ready to go. You can see that somebody had a bad drum at one point. And there's a little scratch on the spacer. It probably sheared all of the teeth off of the drum and it was spinning on this. So the car didn't budge. That's what happens when you don't torque this thing down. Um, I've got to repair this, but that's not a big deal. That can be done anytime. I'm almost ready to make brake lines that go from here all the way up to here. And then it turns into a hose, it jumps to the frame, and that's a while away. i got to uh, pull the body off and start working on things. Get it on three wheels, I hope. Maybe this weekend. Who knows? But uh, you can see everything is bedlinered. It came out really, really nice stuff. Really nice. Even in the holes. This was all rusty. That was quite a few videos back too, but one piece at a time, and uh, she's almost back on three wheels. So here's number one. Just looking at it, this is the right rear. That's the left rear. Came out really nice. But uh, enough squawking. Let's get these things completed. I gotta get drums there at Bob's house. My drums are Bob's. So I was supposed to get them machined. Um, we'll just sandblast them, I think. They weren't too bad. But uh, really nice. Alright, still going. What I was thinking is I'm going to have to dig back and see if I can find the pictures on when uh, I got these pieces and they were, you know, basically piles of rust and junk. And um, This is the IRS rear suspension pieces from Rich in Goffstown. I'm sure he's proud to see these things all restored. <laughs> um, I cannot believe how good they look. But I gotta get some drums. My drums are over Bob's house, and uh, his dad's gonna machine them and smooth them all out inside because they're kind of rusty. Maybe we'll sandblast them too, I'm sure. But um, probably just gonna go like a high heat silver paint for those and put this thing together. I got all the bolts, the washers that hold these in. These are, uh, I think, they're 17 millimeter. Those go in there, and it uh, goes in your A frame. Front, you have independent rear suspension. My tubes, torsion tubes, are right here. Um, I gotta look up. I don't remember if it's the short end or the long end that goes in first. Yeah, this one's got more threads than this one. I have to take a look for that. Um, my torsion arms. You can see one of them under the sandblaster right there. Those have both been fully sandblasted and bedlinered inside and out. So I can go over there if I can make it. I got a lot of stuff in this garage for a little garage. Okay, there's one. All bed liner. There's the other. I'm actually going to pull these out. 
Ooh, they feel good. You just need a bath. They're all dusty. I'm gonna pull these out and see how they go in here. All right, so. All right, well, stuff. I swept up a little bit. Got a lot of the big stuff and the dirt off the floor. I'm gonna take the body off with my son and I'm gonna put it on these little foam pads that I've had for a while. Um, all the body bolts are over here. Took all those out. Move the engine to the side. The seat's up over there where it's nice and safe. The speedometer, I forgot where I put it. It's over there on the bench. Um, it'll come right off, so it's not that it's light. It's pretty damn heavy. Yeah, it is damn heavy. Oh, did I get one more bolt? No, nope, that should be it. But uh, I'm going to move it outside so I can work on putting the suspension back together. And I have to get the front wheel off because I need to get a speedometer gear for it. That's a 78 CB Honda CB400. I'm looking for the drive gear. And the only thing I found is in like the UK. So go figure. Um, it might be stuck a little, but nothing crazy. And a nice clean transmission. But it'll be good to see the body off a little bit. So I can work on the brakes and the suspension. And the master cylinder, which is here somewhere. What the hell they do with it? I just seen it. Oh, it was on the floor, I believe. Dun dun. Can work on that. And shortening the shaft for it, which is over here, I believe. Nope, it's in the box. In the box. It's right here. We can shorten this up. And the answer to the question yesterday, that clip. That's the clip that holds this on at the brake pedal. There's a spring that goes next to this, and the clip goes over both of them. How cool is that? So that clip keeps this on that factory pin up under here. But let's see if my boy's coming out. He's bringing me a Coke, too. Alright, let's get this body off. Here's my, uh, what do they call it, energy suspension. Urethane bushings are a little dusty. But they're black, normally they're red. I'm supposed to get red ones, they sent me black ones. One of them is in, this one goes pretty much on the inside like this. Um, you grease it all up with that silicone, whatever this stuff is here. What is this stuff? Pre-lube, energy suspension. And you push that one into the frame, then you push a tube in and adjust it, and then you push these around one like this. This is an older one, look at how destroyed that thing got. Now these covers, uh, the spacer version, it's got these four spacers on them. And uh, this thing's pretty rotted, so I'm going to get new ones of those. I'm going to bother putting that on. But this is for the other side, so I'll put it over there. I lost one of them. Let me reach for it. Um, I put my bottom spring plate so where it's just below the tab, and I had to lift it up just a little bit and tap it on. Normally, it's way down here, about that much, because... You know, it's a heavy car. It's not a heavy car anymore. It's a little trike. Um, the heaviest part of it is probably the engine. Now this was always a thing I didn't know about. Got this big Allen bolt and it has a shoulder that's about that long. It's only got threads that are about an inch long. What it does is it goes right in this hole and it's pushing on two washers and these two washers squeeze the two rubbers that hold it to the inside while the outside of the bolt is what fits to the OD of this. So it's kind of, it uses the inside bolt but the outside bolt helps guide it in. The outside hole there. So we got the two thick washers in there. I forget what size this thing is but I have it. It's kind of tricky to get in there. You got to have a little patience, but it's in there. Just got to tighten it. Um, this is what I meant by the top hole. That's a big Allen bolt, but I can't. I can't put that in yet. I'm gonna get some Allen bolts. Is what I mean. About a breath. <sighs> this side's ready to go. I had all my pins and washers right here. Here's the here's the one with the shoulder. Now, I put these face to face, so the round edges are out. Put this in there. And this one's for the other side, so I just gotta get the other arm in. But that's not, uh, it's not very light, so I'm gonna set it in place.
Well, it's good to see that going all back together. Just got to tighten the two bolts, one there, one on the other side. Um, brakes are looking awesome. That's the one top front hole of the four. And this on the other side is the one top hole of the four. Just got to line it up and get some bolts. Um, you can see my bearings are all nice and rebuilt. Everything's new, seals, and I'm going to say it a hundred times because it was a lot of damn work. Um, I do have my snubbers. I got the snubbers for this, but they're rotted off. I do have the cups, too. There's one snubber right there. There's the other one. Not the prettiest things. I could get the urethane ones, but those will work. They're just crushed snubbers. That's what I called them. Um, my plates are in the same place. And we're looking good. But we've run out of time and I'm out of breath, so I'm going to go in and take a shower and probably sleep real fast. Looking good. Thanks for watching and have a good night.